ASMR whisper, let me bore you to sleep. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Now, as the name suggests, this is, it's basically just to bore you to sleep. But whispering, <laughs> that's it really. There ain't a huge amount of difference. Except, I suppose you get more. If you're listening for the ASMR side of things, there's more kind of side of side uh, special effects like this. See, <laughs> special effects, baby. So this is just for people that like the the find. That listening to whispering helps you to relax more and maybe you'll fall asleep a lot easier. To some people, it's not even about the ASMR, the auto sensory mode thing. It can be about your mind feeling soothed by the whispering, by the soft, gentleness of the tone of voice that is the whisper. About whispers. I had a whisper bar last night. It was nice. Mm, yummy chocolate. So today is Tuesday and I got a food delivery coming. <laughs> yeah! In about an hour. An hour. Well, it's between 11 and 1. So anyone's guess. The weird thing about it is they haven't sent me an email or a text telling me if there's any parts of my order not available or if there's any substitutes. Now normally they do, but they always do. So I'm not sure why they haven't done that yet. Because there's literally a, just, I think it's about 10 to 10 in the morning. So there's not that much time really before the, the delivery is potentially due. You know, between 11 and 1. So I'm wondering why is, why has there been no contact? Have they been able to take the money out of my bank? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully. But then they should have let me know. So I'll just wait. It's weird, you know, I found that with... Um, deliveries, the online ordering and then get delivered it's gone downhill so much in the last five years it really has It's and it's all to do with um, eco like being green and all that stuff and I, I realise that's important to a lot of people including to the world, to the planet. It, the thing is, it makes the process more and more unpleasant. Because, you know, before getting a delivery was easy. Pretty, pretty much easy. Uh, you 
get it delivered. First of all, it would all be in bags. And I've got an itchy back, so I'm going to scratch my back. Hold on a second. That's better. I just... <laughs> I had to scratch me back. Um, yeah, the shopping used to get delivered in bags. So they would be in crates. Those big brown smelly, like those crates that they carry up the stairs. And then, but they would be in bags. All the shopping. There would also be a big piece of paper that I could, that would show me what I'd ordered, what was not available, and what had been, you know, uh, if there was a, a change or whatever, and it showed me. The first thing they got rid of was the receipts, because I didn't want to use paper anymore, so they'd send that through via email. Which meant I couldn't check stuff off as it was delivered. Because before I'd, sometimes I would check stuff off. To make sure that I'd got everything delivered that was supposed to be there. Because in the past I've had stuff that hasn't come. It's on the list, I paid for it, but it hasn't been delivered. But then, they were always in such a rush that they couldn't, they wouldn't wait, you know, they would, but they didn't make it very pleasant. So I kind of gave up trying to do that, but I'd try at least check it, but then they got rid of the paper. And so I was no longer really able to check what I was getting delivered until after the event. You know, I could check afterwards, but by then, uh, it'd be too late. I remember once I said, look, you you haven't delivered something. They said, oh, the delivery driver must still have that on their van. I said, well, can you get them to bring it around? And they said, no. I said, it's in their van. I've paid for it to be delivered. Can you please get it them to deliver it? No. Once they've, once they've been to your address, they won't return, even if they have left the whole bag. Apparently, they don't will not come back. But I've paid for it. No, we'll give you a refund. I don't. I can't eat money. I was in most annoyed because it was. A, I think it was a chocolate Easter egg. Don't mess with my chocolate. No, 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 no. No, no, my stomach's rumbling a bit. Might be time to eat. Oh, yes. It may be time to have a little bit of food. But I'll do that when I get the delivery. So, oh, the other thing, yeah, plastic bags. So they got rid of plastic bags. Everything comes all stacked into these crates. So, and they just, they stack the crate, they knock on the door, and it's right in front of the door. And I used to try and unpack them, putting them into carrier bags, because how else am I going to do it? I'm not going to take everything, just put it on the floor. Every individual item, because sometimes it's like a hundred things. So that's a lot of bending down. And part of the reason I get delivery is because I've got my lower back. It's got a problem. I've got uh, arthritis in my lower back. Oh, did you hear my stomach? That's weird. So I get... The delivery, I pushed, because I got a little bit of room outside my front door, I pushed, pushed it away, and I, I got this big bag of bags, and I put the stuff into the carrier bags, 
as quickly as I can. The thing about it is, I can't really help to to carry the stuff up the stairs, and they really make a they make a song and dance of it quite often. Some don't, but some really make a big deal of carrying the stuff up the stairs, which I understand is a hard job. And I can physically carry them. It's afterwards that I feel it. You know, I could, I could carry the whole lot upstairs. It hurt a bit. But afterwards, it would hurt a lot. And I'd have to lay down on my bed for a couple of hours. Hope, you know, it's so... That's why I don't do it. That's why I get a delivery. And I don't carry this stuff home from the supermarket. Plus, there's no supermarket nearby, so it'd need to be a bus, bus journey. Anyway, before, when they were in carrier bags, if I had a large order, like a, a big order, I'd go downstairs and I'd take some of the things out of the carrier bags, because I can carry two carrier bags up the stairs. So I'd try and make it a little bit lighter for the delivery person. Can't do that anymore because they're not in carrier bags. It's, it's just a little bit, uh, I don't know. It's almost like they're making it harder for themselves. I don't know what the shelf life is of that kind of job. But it can't be a long occupation because it's hard. And I do feel for the people, the delivery drivers, I really feel for them. Because it's hard, it's a hard slog. Carrying stuff all day for eight hours or whatever is, is a hard job. And I know I couldn't do it. I would have been able to do it when I was younger. But now, because of my lower back, I couldn't do it. Genuinely couldn't. And one of the hardest things I'm talking about, my illness now, it's not an illness, it's arthritis, it's, uh, it's that classed as an illness, it's just a condition, isn't it? A physical thing. It's, well, in my case, it's not a bad thing. I know some people with arthritis have it really bad and it's a really life altering thing. For me, it's just my lower back. But I've had problems with it. It's, it's taken 20 years to kind of come on. And it's, yeah, I've had a few problems. I had to, I had a physiotherapist for a while to help me to figure out how to reduce the pain um, outside of like hypnosis <laughs> which I can do myself anyway I'm not sure why I'm telling you all this other than just the fact that I'm moaning am I moaning? I don't mean to moan I do apologise I don't apologise but I, I'm not I'm just I'm being fat Factual, factual, I am honest, <laughs> trying to be, just let you know a little bit about me, yeah, 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 yeah. about myself, and that's something that I am dealing with, it's been okay recently, uh, the two things, physical things that help, is weights, doing weights regularly, weightlifting and long walks, and also stretching, so they're the things that help, and it's weird because I've not done any of those things for the last few weeks, and I've been okay, so it's, uh, 
I do also relax though, so relaxing is important. And because I make relaxation recordings, I also get relaxed myself. So I benefit from it. So maybe, 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 it's kind of rubbing off, rubbing off on me, doing relaxation sessions. See how this creaks. Can you hear that? That's just me leaning on the table. How can a table, this is a metal table. And it's definitely the table, not the floor. I think. It sounds like a table. It sounds like it's coming from the table. Yeah. So, yeah, so I got a delivery. <laughs> That's basically all I was telling you. I got a delivery. And it'll be here soon. I just wish that... I mean, usually they're quite nice. I've had a couple of uh, dodgy ones, but generally they're quite good. I had someone last week and I couldn't understand him. I genuinely couldn't understand his accent. As I opened my door and suddenly, like, straight away, hey, hey, and I, what? And he repeated himself exactly the same as he'd said it before. And I just, like, nodded. I was like, okay. Did not understand what he was saying. Could not. Um, and it wasn't through not wanting to, because I did want to. But it was too, it's like really, um, I don't know where he was from. It sounded a bit Scottishy to me. But I've been around Scottish people. My, one of my best friends at school was Scottish, so I can acclimatise my uh, my ears to, to the Scottish accent, as well as to the Welsh, as well as to lots of different accents. I spent years having to do that when I worked in call centres. But what I notice in real life... And even if it's not an accent, well, everyone's got an accent, but even if it's just when you ask someone to repeat what they said, I've noticed that they tend to just repeat it exactly the same as before. So if they say, uh, for example, I bought, I bought my shoes, I went to town and bought my shoes in... Uh, Okay, I got the, I went to town and bought my shoes in. I didn't get the last bit. So I say, can you repeat? So, so I didn't get that. What did you say? I went into town and got my shoes in the middle. And I don't, it's like, why do they do that? I've noticed that so many times. I was going to say in the past, but everything is in the past, apart from those things that aren't. And I was, oh, another thing, I can't, I can't upload the videos. I made two videos last night. I did the podcast at the same time. So I made two videos that were supposed to be put onto YouTube. Ideally, before I went to bed, I could not upload them. They would not upload. They refused to upload. I was trying to use the um, AirDrop. So I've got the phone, iPhone, and the iPad. It should be easy to AirDrop between the two. 
like, nope, I was having none of it. None of it at all. A proper winding me up. Really was winding me up in a big way. I couldn't believe it. Like, come on, man. All I want to do, upload the video, edit it, make it very, what I do on YouTube is very basic editing. I'm, I'm trying to aim on content rather than uh, quality of the thumbnails. And I know that the thumbnails are important, etc, blah, blah. Um, but I'm trying to kind of make the thumbnails based upon the videos themselves. But, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's... The videos are the best quality picture I've ever done. Uh, maybe the sound could be better. Although it's good sound, but it's not... I don't think it's quite loud enough. So, there is a solution. There's two, well, there's, there's two solutions. One solution is to, to start using a different video. To use a video camera instead of my phone. And the other solution is, well, there's other solutions as well, like using, uh, uploading different, so I could still use the camera, but I'd have to use a different laptop to upload it, potentially, because I tried to plug the camera into the, well, I didn't try, I did, I plugged, I connected the camera, the phone rather, into the laptop. Hoping to be able to download onto the, you know, onto the laptop, but then it wouldn't allow it because the videos weren't coming up, just the pictures, just the images, no videos. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I don't understand what's going on. So I'm going to look into that today because and I know I kind of I've not made a video of this recording because of that situation it annoyed me and I thought well, what was the point in making a video if I can't do anything with it so I might as well just make the podcast do it that way and then you just upload it and that's it really you know what I mean yeah Kind of. Kind of, yeah, a little bit, maybe. A tiny, 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 tiny little bit. I kind of understand. Mildly. Mild, Yeah. So, I just had to, uh, I had to have a quick break from doing this. My stomach's been rumbling something really weird. And I'm hungry. I need to eat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a biscuit, a cup of tea, and some biscuits. Some digestive biscuits. Now, perhaps not very professional, but hey, this is not a professional situation. So let's all forgive each other. Oh, hey, hey. Um, I thought, so I popped into the kitchen, made a cup of tea quickly. Mm. I'm going to have a few biscuits dipped in my tea. Of course. 
those if you don't like the sound of someone eating biscuits, <laughs> eating biscuits or drinking tea, then, oh well, you're not going to enjoy the next 10 minutes. ago I didn't think I'd be hungry like this but wow and I'm limited to what I can eat because I'm waiting for my food delivery and one of the things they're not delivering is my ginger nut biscuits I'm not happy about that I love my ginger nuts myself a bit of ginger. You just concentrate on your own food. <laughs> oh. That's definitely to the to the edge off, I tell you. I felt a bit jittery and strange. I don't normally feel that way. But I guess tell you what it was, I had Weetabix this morning, and I normally have ready break, which is like porridge, so the Weetabix didn't quite give me the, didn't quite give me what I normally get, because it's like a whole grain and stuff in the ready break, and also I have fruit with it, with the ready, with the Weetabix I had sugar. So I don't normally have that much sugar. I don't have sugar on my breakfast cereal normally. I have dried fruit. When I 
said that was nice or was I didn't just let off a silent fart. I'm talking about the biscuits and a nice cup of tea. That's the thing about being so British that I am. A cup of tea. <laughs> I'm born with the love of tea. Even I've gone almost decades without drinking hardly any tea. But I always come back to it. Because I was born to drink tea. And you may say, nope, tea is from India. No, it's not it's from the supermarket. It's from my cupboard. This is our now, the society now, that's our heritage. I inherited tea bags. I'm running out of biscuits. I'm such a big bit of a piggy when it comes to biscuits. Not available, which I'm glad because I don't need any. 
I didn't realise I'd ordered any. I got loads. Uh, you ordered one times Coca-Cola classic cans, 24. Not available. You bastard. So that's not available. You ordered two times Asta ginger nuts. No ginger nuts. No Coke, no ginger nuts. At least I've got my toast. At least I can enjoy my buttery toast. You ordered brilliantly buttery butter. Not available. What? That's right, I've got plenty in the fridge. That's a little bit, you know, a little bit. But two things, the things I needed, breakfast stuff, bananas, as I've got water come in, digesters, but I've got McVee's. See, those ones at the supermarket home brand, and they're, although they did the trick now, because I was hungry, I prefer McVee's, the original digestives. They're just nicer. They taste nicer. I know, for me, some people, uh, do you know when people say, I don't taste the difference, tastes the same to me. Doesn't matter where I buy my pizza, tastes the same to me. It doesn't matter if I get it from Domino's or from the kebab, the old smelly kebab shop round the corner. Tastes the same to me. Like, really? Does it really taste the same? So you're telling me that, okay, Burger King and McDonald's, their burgers or their fries taste the same, do they? Do they taste the same? Tastes the same to me. Well, first of all, the fries, I don't even know what um, Burger King's fries are made out of. It doesn't seem to be potato. It, I don't know what they are. But they taste nice, but I don't know what the heck they're made of. And the burgers, they taste nothing like each other. Tastes the same to me. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Everything, <laughs> everything tastes the same to me. I guess we've all got different taste buds, you know. It's, I just, I just sometimes wonder if people say that and they're just lying. They're just saying it for the sake of it. Or if it's true. Do things taste the same? Does it not make any difference to them if they have uh, Weetabix, proper Weetabix, or the uh, breakfast biscuits from, you know, the home brand breakfast biscuits that are kind of the same kind of thing, but taste nothing like, you know, they just almost have no taste. Um, tastes the same to me. It's like, no. No, but they really don't. Uh, I don't know about now, but I remember the cornflakes. The home brand cornflakes and all the different types of cornflakes you can get that are not cornflakes and they're not like Kellogg's. Quickly, they would go soggy. You put the milk on, and by the time you'd walked from the kitchen to the living room or wherever you were eating, if you were sitting on the toilet, maybe you'd like it, it'd be soggy. If you're sitting on the toilet, and you, your cornflakes would be soggy. It's like, oh, this is just gross. Some good say, well, it's gross eating your breakfast on the toilet. But let the judges judge. That's what I say. Let the judges judge. That's their job. So if someone ever says, oh, they're judging you, say, that's their job. Judging is what judges do. That's their job. So, wow. 
See, you get to him eat biscuits and you get some philosophy. I am basically an all-round camper. That's one word, isn't it? Camper. That's one word for me. There are probably a few others. <laughs> probably. <laughs> so, um, I got that delivery coming soon. And then, I might be looking after my friend's dog for a few hours, I don't know, really not sure. And then I'll make some more recordings later. Um, yeah, I'll do a, I don't know, I'll do a couple of more recordings. I'm going to aim to try and do at least three new recordings a day. Just to, you know, to keep up and running, to keep up to date with the various different types of recordings I do. I need to do a stop smoking recording probably later on. I was thinking about making a slim slimming recording or having a slimming podcast I don't know I'm not sure I'm not sure whether I should do that or not but I do have two new podcasts uh, let me bore your pain away and ASMR whisper, let me bore you to sleep, which is this. But I've actually got podcasts made, I made the images yesterday, and there's a lot, um, yeah, I've got it all done, so that's good. So I'm kind of pleased with that. So what I'll do is I'll just continue doing what I'm doing. And see where it leads. So, have a great day. Thank you for listening. And remember to be kind to yourself. Because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.